On this episode of In an Instant, we go to the moon. Guiding us there are two brave astronauts with a bit of legacy in the space program. My name is Neil Armstrong Jr. I am the son of the world-renowned Neil Armstrong. My name is Fuzz Aldrin. I am Buzz Aldrin's son, and I'm going to the moon to get them Hasselblads. Neil Jr. and Fuzz will be documenting their journey on Polaroid pack film of multiple varieties. They are being sent to the moon as part of a special program to recover the 12 Hasselblad cameras that were left there during the original Apollo missions. You know, they don't have a viewfinder. They just like shoot automatically. Great experiment camera for a quality YouTube video that I'm, uh, I'm looking to make. Uh, and my handle is at Neil Armstrong is my dad. I mean, everybody wants to shoot with one of the moon Hasselblads. I also want to see I want to see Earth. I've seen the moon from Earth. I would like to go to see Earth from, I want to see the moon on the moon. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, like, I haven't seen the moon while on it. So that would be good. I think I would like that. The program has faced an abundance of scrutiny from the general public, with the consensus being that sending two largely untrained men on a useless mission is nothing more than a publicity stunt. To be honest, I'm kind of soaking my spacesuit right now. Like, not very chill right now. <laughs> Wave goodbye to our boys. Hopefully they snap some nice Polaroids along the way. Goodbye, boys. Don't die along the way, please. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to In an Instant. My name is Ben, and I am sitting here with the Matthew Icicle. And today, we are going to do a NASA slash space themed shoot. Are you ready for this? I thought this is just what you told me to wear here today. Yeah, I mean, this is like your wardrobe normally that you would wear, but, yeah. well, and me too, trust me. Um, I studied astronomy at college in the University of Maryland. I sort of grew up obsessed with it. Did you not know that? I did not know that. That's nuts you didn't know that. I had no idea. Wow, that's crazy. It's, it's one of those fun facts. You could write it down. Um, so today we are going to take some, uh, portraits, like traditional NASA portraits. We're gonna do some fun stylized stuff. We're gonna use several different types of peel apart film. That's the, the medium of choice today. And Matt, you and I have recently shot with some peel apart film and I, I feel like you're digging it. It's a different mindset. It's a different mindset. Different game. So let's get into our first shot. We're here in our little NASA photo studio, keeping it uh, very aligned with how NASA usually took their portraits. They've got really similar backdrops, extremely similar flag position, lighting positions for all of their portraits, as you'd expect at NASA, They're, they got it dialed in. Um, they usually have pretty broad front lighting on their portraits, and we're gonna try to shape ours a little bit more just to add a, a little spritz of drama in there because we're all about drama here on in an instant. And the first film that we're using today is FP100C. Now, this is one of the last peel apart films ever made. It expired pretty recently, 2018, so it's gonna give us pretty good results. We're gonna get to the weird little expired stuff later, but for the first shots, to really replicate those portraits, we're just going with the most consistent, rock steady option, and that's FP, so let's send it. What a cook up, chef up, NASA style. Chef up. <laughs> oh, what? Look at that. That is honestly irresponsibly good. Yeah, that looks insane. <laughs> that is like possibly illegal. Like, I don't know if NASA would even be okay with how close this is to their actual product. And we're gonna hold on to this negative because we can go ahead and scan this later, bleach it, and uh, you know, get some, get a big boy out of here. <laughs> okay. That's incredible. Oh my God. That is, that is, that is amazing. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I am n not scared at all. I am just there to make my daddy proud. My dado, dad on, daddy yo. I mean, we're getting in a rocket going up there. It's pretty high up there. I've never been so high up. My daddy would be proud of me for going up there. And he's still alive, but we're not really in touch. All right, so the second film we're gonna be shooting on today is Super Sense One Instant. So this is gonna give us much different results than FP100C. Maddie Ice and I recently shot with this film uh, and just got like beautiful results out of it. I love the shot of you guys. This film is really interesting. Um, people have pretty varied results on it. I think I've, my experience with it has been pretty yeah. great. Um, yeah, really interesting colors. Mm -hmm. Curious how this will react to like a red backdrop. I think that's gonna be really cool. And I did a little wardrobe change. You know, we're now in streetwear god territory, um, which obviously Absolutely. is a dangerous place to be. Absolutely. Dangerous place to be. You don't wanna go too far into streetwear god territory, otherwise it goes to your head, you start losing control of your entire life. And then um, you become a demigod. Then the you one. become a demigod, you don't really wanna do that. So, in honor of Florian Dot Caps, we're gonna fire off one shot of Super Sense. Let's do it. Super Sense, Benny Bags. Wow. Wow, look at that spread. So one of the problems people have been having with Super Sense is spread failures, um, where the you know the spread of the chemicals really doesn't cover that much of the image. I've had like almost no problems with that. I love the way these chemicals frame this picture. Um, I just am in love with Super Sense. Boy, when I, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, and I don't know this for sure, but I've heard that's a moray, and so I just want to see that for myself. I believe in aliens, no doubt. Maybe they've been taking some some funky, you know, still life nighttime alien gas station photos on Portra 400, because I think, or maybe 800, maybe they're pushing it to, you know, 3,000 too. But I'm really excited to maybe find a couple of those. All right, folks, I'm very excited about the next film we are shooting with. It is Polaroid 690. This is 100 speed expired peel apart film. Um, I have actually never shot with 690. I've shot plenty of 669 um, with dramatic expired results. I mean, that's sort of the fun of this stuff at this point. Um, this is one of the last batches ever. It literally has the product being discontinued sticker on it. Even so, I'm not sure how this was stored, whether it was stored properly. Um, but I think one of the more interesting things about using this for this kind of context is that now, now we can get weird. Now we can get real weird. Yeah, now stuff's gonna stop looking normal. The shots we've taken so far have been pretty photorealistic. For They're sure, 100%. no longer gonna be that. And so I think it's time to get on the moon and start popping off. Firing off of these shots like an astronaut in the sky. I mean, I literally couldn't have said it better than you just did. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, baby. That tab can rip, and if it rips, it will bone the pack. Very hard to retrieve images from a, a vintage rip tab. So here we go. We've got our first image developed. A part in the excessive use of the American flag. Um, after all we've been through, but you know it's NASA. They are of our government. Whew. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we have some image. It's very brown. Whoa. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about, where this sort of damage looks really cool. This, first of all, it smells insane. Like I want to die right now being this close to this. But um, with expired film, you don't know what you're going to get. And you have to be ready to accept the drastic color shifts. I thought we were going to shift blue. We have shifted brown here pretty severely. Uh, but I think, it, I think it works. We are currently about to do a double exposure, which is very easy to do on the 600 SE because all you gotta do is fire the shutter twice. Wow, not bad. We forgot about this. There's definitely some damage, but still a cool effect. I'm getting used to this smell. It's time to get up there. I'm floating. This is like an art installation.
We are in a mad dash to catch some uh, some sunset lighting. Hero's mission right now is to try to get this light outside. We got our first tab. We're gonna do a quick peel. <laughs> <laughs> Astounding, let's <laughs> incredible. All right, let's go. <laughs> sorry, 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 you can't smoke in here. What now? Why is that <laughs> boring? I can smoke wherever I damn well please. You know, what my father's name is it's Buzz Aldrin, second man on the moon. You know, they're gonna let me walk on the moon again. Yeah. Or I never did it, but. Did you read the sign that says, it's actually for sons of men who were first on the moon who could smoke? Seconds can't count. Oh, did it really say that? Oh, I, I mean, I respect that. I mean, if that's what it says, I guess I'll put it back in, but I'm gonna, can I, can I smoke outside? All right, let's get some shots. This looks incredible. <laughs> After a very rainy day, we're now taking advantage of an incredible sunset outside. Obviously, we have we have some light balance issues. We're shooting with 100 speed film. We rushed down here. We tried to get some like sky silhouette stuff. Uh, we got pigeons in here. It's New York, baby. So hopefully, some of this comes out. Let, let's peel. Ignition sequence start. Six, Boosters five, on. Four, three, two, one. You ready for this, Fuzz? I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can we get off? Fuzz, this is insane. Is there a way off? I don't like this. Actually, this is scary. I did not sign up for this. Oh, Neil, this is scary. Oh, this is so scary. I wish I peed before this. Oh, I'm peeing. For the last shot of this very special peel-tacular, which does not work as a phrase, we are gonna use the 8x10 camera with the 4x5 reducer back. So, it's time to fire off some 4x5 peel apart film. So this is kind of a huge moment, literally, in scale. We are shooting with the Type 52 Polaroid film, uh, one of the last batches ever made. You gotta love the yellow sticker. This product's being discontinued. Breaks your heart, but you also love it. Uh, ISO 400, like I said, cracking this open. I've not tested um, these packs before uh, of this specific batch, so I don't know what we're gonna get, but uh, that's the beauty of pretty much everything we've done today, and it's, to me, been a very beautiful experience. So let's try this out. Let's do it. Four by five back out, take this lever, back to process, and now just like the other peel apart films, you yank it out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's just nuts. What more would you want? The 4x5, the, the depth of field, the immediacy of the field of view, uh, the silver background glistening behind him. Uh, I just don't know what more you'd want out of this. This is incredible. Matty Ice just standing in. Model of the year, in my opinion. All right, we uh, just took a lot of space theme photos. Kind of wish fulfillment for me a little bit. Like, I think you feel the same. Oh, yeah. like, there's something about this that feels like my skin now. Like, I just feel like at yeah, home yeah. in this. I was saying that I think that it's like, uh, you know how people like weighted blankets? I think me and Ben, yeah. like uh, NASA adult children. Adult children's costume. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. feeling very safe and secure <laughs> in our outfits. And I really, really love some of the shots we got today. I mean, getting the chance to even do these traditional NASA portraits was out of this world. Like if I saw this on the internet, I'd be like, wow, that's a really cool looking astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would definitely think that. Like I would fully believe that I'd have to like start looking up someone's career path change yeah, if yeah. someone had posted these. I've been having this reaction all day every time I look at you in this jumpsuit, like, wow, you really look like you belong <laughs> in that costume because it's working. Um, the, 
The 690 film I thought was really interesting. Like we mentioned, we got this sepia look to it, which really worked for some shots. Um, yeah. We used the white backdrop uh, for the shots that were from above angle, and that ended up coming into this yellow look, kind of moon-esque. Yeah, um, it kind of grazes it's, out. It's a little lunar. It's a little bit lunar. It's mild, mildly lunar. Mildly lunar. One of our, I think, maximum moments was taking a step outside, and the sunset shots were really cool, I think. Oh yeah, the sunset shots, like, I, I was saying to uh, Ben, I think that Fuji color peel apart is the closest thing you'll get to shooting like an eight by 10 negative. Yeah, I think or, that's or, accurate. Or, or theoretically a four right. by eight by 10. And it is like a large format negative. I mean, you do get the negative with the Fuji peel apart film. Um, so there is that color rendition and that, the, the size of it, the field of view of two by three ish is what it is. Um, it's still pretty much large format. It's close to large format. Yeah, it, it renders details like it's it's impossible yeah, to even like yeah. like it's it it feels very immediate yeah yeah and the super sun shot i mean had a uh, very interesting and beautiful color i thought and i just love the chemical vibe for sure as well. um and then the the last thing we did during the day which i think sort of was the big hitter in terms of vibes like i think this was a great way to end the day was shooting with this type of 52 uh, polapan film which just I mean, the moment we peeled that shot of Matt and seeing his face on this format that is long dead and the spread being great, it, I was just, I was, it was almost emotional. Yeah. It's like, I think about it, it's like the first time that you have like your first Polaroid pop out or like the first time you get your first like 35 mil roll developed. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, that's so exciting. And then you like do it consistently where it's like, it's still exciting. Yeah. But it's not as exciting. And then it's like jumping up into like a medium. It's the fix. It is. And the only way to solve the fix is getting four by five or eight by 10. You gotta keep going big. And then at one point you just go by 20 by 20. Yeah. And you move to the Netherlands. Yeah, so. you go to 20 by 24, you shoot at the six cameras in the world. We may have to acquire one. Yeah, yeah. it's incredible. And this, the fact that the, we only had, out of the three that we took, I would yeah. I would call these corner spread issues like not even really that big. Yeah, deal. they're barely. I mean, we did have the forehead incident with one of our shots, but I honestly don't even mind it. I think, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, but say, I think two out of three on yeah. 2009, yeah. four by five, we're doing pretty good. That ain't bad. And uh, as for whether those boys ever got their Hasselblad camera, I don't know. We I mean, know. We, we actually, they, they were lost. Um, Houston, they may have some problems. Houston could not find a solution. Uh, anyway. Thank you for watching in an instant. Go ahead and uh, get in a space shuttle and head right up to that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more views, tips, shoots, peels, and all things instant. Bye. Uh, and my handle is at Neil Armstrong is my dad. <laughs>